Mauricio Pochettino faces a huge task when it comes to fixing Chelsea's broken squad. Chelsea's manager in waiting will have to restore harmony at Stamford Bridge because of the number of disaffected players. They have ended up with so many that they cannot fit them all in the dressing room, let alone the Premier League's 25-man squad for next season. The stories of players having to change in the corridors at their Cobham training ground have become the stuff of legend before the club managed to get them all in. Nothing is worse at any club than an unhappy player who is not getting any game time but can bring down the mood with negativity and resentment. Chelsea need a smaller, better and happier squad. Pochettino has undoubtedly been hired because of his ability as a coach, but during his time at Tottenham he was the master at building a strong team spirit and dressing room culture. The Argentine will have to be as much diplomat as football manager to cope with a bloated squad after Chelsea owner Todd Burley spent £600 million over the past two windows. But there is one common theme in Pochettino's success story and that is homegrown players because they set the tone for the whole club, identifying with the fans and also giving everything for the team. They will have to sell this summer to balance the books after missing out on European football for next season and to also fall in line with financial limits after their massive spending sprees. Chelsea will maximise their income if they cash in on homegrown players, but that is one area which Pochettino will definitely try to build on. England midfielder Mason Mount has one year left on his current deal and is a target for Liverpool, while Manchester United and Arsenal are also watching developments. Mount's contract standoff with Chelsea is heartbreaking for many fans who regard him as one of their own and they want to see him stay. The on loan Levi Colwell is another who has been left uncertain about his future as he wants to play and has benefited from his time at Brighton this season. Colwell is outstanding on the ball, steps into midfield and at just 20 he is a huge prospect. Colwell is a left footer and is seen as a future England international by Gareth Southgate, yet there is a reluctance to return to his parent club because Colwell fears he will not play. Chelsea spent almost £33 million on left-footed centre-half Benoit Badiashile from Monaco, which raised doubts as to whether Colwell has a future at Stamford Bridge. But Pochettino is anxious to build his team around young, exciting talent, and Colwell, who still has two years left on his deal plus a further option, will be at the heart of that. Conor Gallagher is another who has been wanted by Newcastle, but is a typical Pochettino player, while Ruben Loftus-Cheek's future may be less certain, as he only has a year left on his contract. Callum hudson odoi has almost become the forgotten man while on loan at Bayer Leverkusen. Chelsea also need a centre-forward, and Pochettino does plan to talk to Romelu Lukaku in the summer after his loan at Inter Milan expires. There has to be departures to balance the books, and N'Golo Kante still has not committed to a new deal, while Mateo Kovacic and Eduard Mendy could also go in the shake-up. But Pochettino will have to show a willingness to make big signings like Mikhailo Mudrik and Raheem Sterling work. Sterling is the experienced quality player who could bring something to a young dressing room and be viewed as a good example for young players. Mudrik was a huge signing that has yet to kick, although there have been flashes of his pace, close control and potential. Again, it would be unthinkable to give up at this stage. Tottenham's identity was very clear during Pochettino's reign at White Hart Lane. Players like Harry Kane were vital as homegrown heroes together with the experience of Hugo Lloris, Jan Vertonghen and the quality of Moussa Dembele. Pochettino's first and biggest task is to stamp his authority on Chelsea and give the team an identifier they can be proud of.